Hey there, I just wanted to talk about Windows 10 for a moment. One of the reasons why I am not a fan of automatic updates for Windows anyway is particularly because of something that happened in 2003. Microsoft had an update that affected people that were using a couple, it was either two or three antivirus software that it made it so those antivirus software were viewing most of Windows files as viruses. <laughs> so it was hosing people's systems. And I think it took almost a week for them to fix that. Now, that gave me a lot of work. <laughs> I had a lot of people calling me saying, yeah, my system's hosed. Did a lot of backups, reinstallations of Windows. But, uh, it was really bad. And so, and ever since then, I've not really had a very good opinion of the idea of forced updates. I've also seen forced updates for Java uh, crash people's systems <laughs> a number of times. Yay, garbage. Um, so, and then another thing, I think about how many <laughs> really old computers running Windows XP run very, very fast when you first install Windows, and then you put Service Pack 3 on and you watch it slow down to about two-thirds of what it was. <laughs> you know. And there are some people who have experienced blue screens of death when they install certain updates, you know. So I'm not a fan of forced updates. So, let's go this way. There's people that are going to be coming on bicycles. So let's turn up the... Turn up the brightness, all right. And, uh... So for me, it's important to find a way to stop Windows updates from being compulsory. So there's an easy way to stop the updates, and that is to go to the run command, which you can access by holding the Windows key and hitting the letter R, and then going to services.msc, and uh, finding Windows updates, and then uh, either right-clicking and selecting properties or just double-clicking on it. Then do the pull-down for disable, and then stop the service. You may have to stop it, try to stop it twice. And then do the same thing with background intelligent transfer service. This will stop Windows updates from working. Now, right now, there aren't any websites that are dedicated to telling you what Windows updates do what for Windows 10. And that's because it hasn't been fully released yet. Once the Enterprise Edition is released, um, this kind of information is going to be available because companies are going to want to know this information. They're going to want to be able to do research really quick. Oh yes, this, these updates do this. These updates cause these problems. So, you know, this will be available in the future. And then there's a site. Now this is hypothetical right now. There's a site that you can go to catalog.update.microsoft.com that you should be able to download the updates from there. You'll have to type in the name of the update. KB whatever it is. Now one of the problems with stopping these updates is 
you won't be able to use Windows Defender and have it be current because Windows Defender uses Windows updates to get the latest definitions. So what you're going to have to do is use a separate antivirus software, which kind of sucks because Microsoft's uh, Windows Defender is actually pretty good. But uh, this is a workaround for what they're doing. Now what I think is kind of funny is You know, Microsoft is doing this because they were upset that on XP so many people didn't get a number of important updates. But <laughs> what they're doing now is guaranteeing that a lot of people won't be getting any updates because they won't let you choose. It's funny how that works, isn't it? But anyway, this is a workaround. 